Hi guys, it's Lisa and today I have Hannah here. We are going to tell you a little bit about making your own bling bra. So Hannah has made these two bras that are here on the little makeshift table that we made. This will be mine for the Bad to the Chrome event that I am doing tomorrow, but I should have the video up by the time that this goes up. And then Hannah had this whenever we did our performance at my masquerade soiree. I was so impressed with it that I asked her to make one for me, and I'm very happy with it. So, since she did such a good job and so many of the girls at the studio asked how the hell she did this, I figured that you would all want to know, so we're making this video. Hopefully it will help. We're not actually going to be putting it on today, but we're going to give you all the tools so that you can do it. And I would really like to see how they come out, so make sure to give us links um, in the comments below or hashtag Lush Lisa whenever you make them so I can see them. So, Hannah, how would we start making a bra like this? Like, what would we need? First thing you're going to have to do is, obviously, you got to get a bra. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be cheap. Um, just something that makes your boobs look good to start with. So you want them to <laughs> pop in there. Um, next, you're going to need a hot glue gun. That's what I use. You can use fabric glue or other things like that, but it takes days to dry or hot glue. It's done. Um, yeah. So once it's there, it's there. You don't have to worry about messing it up or putting it somewhere. It's ready to go. I feel um, like the other kind like oozes. And yeah, then... and it oozes and your beads can actually end up weird places if you use the not instantly glue dry, yeah, like fabric glue. Yeah. So it's kind really of more up. of a pain where hot glue, you just stick it on. Hot glue gun is like a total, like you have to have it if you're a pole dancer. And the really sad thing is I don't have one yet, so that's why I had her make me one. <laughs> <laughs> and hot glue fixes everything, seriously. Um, so hot glue gun, bra, bra what else? Um, jewels, it doesn't really matter what size. I want to say this pack I bought was like 10 bucks, and it's made more than five bras already. So it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, Where'd you get it at? Hobby Lobby is where I got this jewel, but I mean, pretty much any of the craft stores have it. You can also go online. Um, they're usually really cheap on Amazon. I just like to see it and feel it. Yeah. Um, These are like plastic jewels, not like glass or anything crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, you can get crazy like that, but that gets really expensive and that's, you know, a lot more work too because they don't stick the same if it's glass on hot glue. Um, oh. So the plastic actually sticks a little bit better. Have you ever used, I saw like at Michael's this like stick thing and it had like a point at the end and it got really hot and it was supposed to seal those gems which had like sticky backs on. Oh Have like the iron on and stuff? I yeah, think so. Um, I've never used like the individual ones, but I mean, the iron-on stuff does work. It's just, once again, placement okay. is the hardest part about doing yeah. that kind of stuff. I did iron-on um, one time. It and came out really funny. Yeah, it always ends up shifting. I made a um, sports bra, mm -hmm. and it was supposed to say, pull, because all my stuff says pull, because I can't come up with anything really clever. And it accidentally shifted the E at the end, so it was like a half inch lower. And my friend at the time, she decided, well, we'll make it look really like fancy and we'll put a little, what are those little squiggly things over the E's in like um, Spanish? Yeah. The, I forget what it's pole. called. Pole. And it said pole. <laughs> I'm going to put a picture to show you if I can find it. And we um, did the little iron on ones, and I remember how hard it was. So they wouldn't move because I wanted them in a line. Mm -hmm. So I do like the idea of hot glue so much more than those stupid iron-on things that are really annoying. Yeah. Uh, planning it out, you can just wing it and just start gluing and see whatever you want. I usually doodle something. I can't draw at all. But, you know, just drawing something out so you get your idea, um, it helps a lot in the planning process. <laughs> so if you were to, like, wing it... Would you like start at like the nipple or like the side? Or I, what would be like the s step A whenever you were planning where to put the first one? 
Well, it also depends on like if you're doing top or just bottom. Okay. Um, if you were to do the full thing, where do you full start? Thing, I always start from top to bottom. So like from from the like here, strap, and then I and go then down. Over. Yeah. And then do you go like you're reading a book like across the lines? I actually do it random. Okay. Uh, unless I want it to be in a straight line. Okay. Like these ones. So that it varies literally, more. I did like oh here oh let me go over here and I also get bored really easy so I have to do like this side then that side and then go back. ADD up there. crafting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so, so from top to bottom, that makes sense because there's more of like a point up here, mm -hmm. so it should be able to make the point versus the bottom. Like it's yeah, okay if you kind of miss stuff. Fit. Hopefully your boobs are big enough that you can't really see the bottom anyways. Mine are not the case. Mm -hmm. um, time, it really depends on yeah, how fit. big your boobs are, which a lot of people don't think about. More volume to cover. Mine took like a week to make, where others took like an hour. <laughs> um, but Which means while you're picking out your bra, if you want it to be done really fast, if you get a really giant push-up bra, that is gonna be a bigger cup, so it's gonna take you longer, mm -hmm. versus if you get a flatter bra, you can probably do it quicker, and then if you have big boobies, it's just yeah. downhill for you, sorry. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> you're gonna have to just get over it and plan right. <laughs> Make okay. sure you do give yourself enough time because being in a rush isn't um, the best for creativity. So for planning like this one, this one, which hopefully we can like zoom on these, you can see how like glittery it is. Um, it's not in any particular order it looks like. It's kind of mixture of small, medium, and large. The mixture also makes it a uh, less flat okay. so it actually makes it look more so like from the eye poppy. side too yeah so you really see all that glitter where if it was one solid um it just doesn't look as glittery and ridiculous and i like how on yours like she has like a lace side i really like this because whenever i pole dance in a bra because i wanted something fancier i think that the lace makes it just a little bit nicer looking versus like right now the one that I have it just has a plain side so it's gonna be very obvious I'm dancing in a bra versus a lace one I don't know it makes it look more fun so think about that whenever you're choosing a bra and also the backs like this just has straps going right down in the back but in the front it's got two little tiny ones in the front some nowadays have like Z or Z X like tops, so that might be more fun, and you could probably decorate some of those versus just a plain bra strap. It's going to be harder to make fancy looking whenever you have like amazing tits and then just like plain bra straps that can be boring. So then this one, tell us like how you made this one. That one I actually, I started winging it. <laughs> And I just started from the side and just started with the top over and then it made kind of that zigzag pattern because like I said I kind of go all over the place. Yeah you can see like at the bottom here like it's not just a line going straight across. Instead it kind of looks like scalloping at the bottom which I really like and a lot of the girls I showed this to they noticed that and they love that. But then it looks cool how it doesn't have a straight line across, but then these are like perfectly straight coming down. Mm -hmm. And the thing with these, you actually do not go straight down with this. If you want it to look straight, you're actually going in every single okay. time. Because right. if you go straight, it actually looks totally different than that. Yeah, it it'll look... make your boobs like not look as big. Like this is going to make my boob look yeah. way bigger than it really is versus yeah, you want it to if it was just going down to like my rib cage. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and then I think you use different sizes going down too, yeah. right? So the top ones, oh, I don't know how to angle this. The top ones are bigger and then she went smaller and smaller down to the little bitty ones down here mm -hmm. and the descending also helps with making your boobies look bigger yeah um with the descending because it causes the illusion of them popping out more oh, okay and then the center so she, this one that she has also has like a cool little like i'm gonna put it above my head so nope 
No, in front of the white thing. Yeah, you can probably see it in front of the white thing. It's got like a little lacy strappy middle. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. So you couldn't put bling there, yeah. right? Like that would probably not stick very well. Mm -hmm. But since I bought, by the way, this bra came from Walmart. It was only $3.98, which I've never seen them on sale for that cheap. And it does have padding, so that was really cool. But since it was plain Jane, she put in the center another like little line to make it look cool again. So make sure to think about what's going in like your cleavage area mm -hmm. whenever you do that. And you can even do like danglies. I know that's hard with pole because stuff gets stuck. Oh yeah. But you can, you know, put stuff down. Ooh, around. like yeah. Okay, I like that idea. It. I've seen like a few like where you can buy and they have like little beading under here. My yeah. like ribs like hit. I don't like how that feels, but I like how it looks. Yeah, I almost did like a dangly thing, but I was like, meh. Might get ripped off. <laughs> yeah, my belly button rings rip off constantly, so I that's why I didn't would actually probably not just... do it. <laughs> yeah, I think my belly button ring got came off. off whenever I did my last performance. Okay, so we went over what we need. We went over planning it and to get it um, set as far as what it's gonna look like. And whenever you're actually doing it, like how much glue do you need? Like. I don't know if there's like settings or do you put like a gob on or I, how does that work? You definitely, with the hot glue gun thing, get the hotter setting one. There's a cold hot glue gun and then there's a hotter one. Get the hottest. It works better okay. with um, sticking this. And you really just told your little Jemmy, put a tiny dot and stick it. And like you want to wiggle it around just a little bit enough where the glue spreads around. Okay. So uh, instead of covering it, then yes. whacking it on as gushing all over the place, mm -hmm. that's not going to look hot, then instead just using your finger to get yeah. it. And I can see, because on mine, um, there's not any excess glue, which with those lines, it probably was a lot harder to yeah, not have do the not glue. Because <laughs> it will look like you made it, um, like with your grandma or something. Uh, <laughs> grandma, let's come bedazzle my tits. Yeah, it'll be a blast. <laughs> but, uh... Do you have any tips on like preventing the like stringy like cobweb stuff coming out from it? Basically, you just want to don't just glue it and go away. Actually, push down and swipe it, just like a uh, like you're wiping it almost. You still get some of the stringies, but just right when you glue that down, if there's anything around while it's still kind of mushy, you can pull it off and it'll actually totally come off and you won't be able to see it. Yeah, because I've seen like a lot where they're like all over the place and mm -hmm. it, it takes away from the shine because the strings are in the way. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, like she said, you yeah. can tell that you made it yourself versus if you bought one, they probably wouldn't have as many strings. Yeah. Less is more. Yeah. You can always add glue, but you can't take it off as easily. That's true. Yeah, and so then say if you're putting one together and one moves, like what is a good plan whenever something messes up <laughs> um if it messes up and you're doing something like the top mm -hmm. you can rip it off and replace it because you're going to end up covering it anyways yes. now if it's a straight line like this you're kind of screwed um plan b plan b would be go with that shape if it messes up in it like a little bit start doing a different design that direction a couple of these actually kind of wiggled and you can't really you tell. You can't tell because I kind of just put the rest of that just adjacent over. Instead of keep going down, it makes it look like there's nothing there. That makes sense. And even like say if one of these had gone awry and gone to like the side, I think it would still be cool. Even if like you made like another line mm -hmm. of like beads going horizontally. So you could easily fix that. I think... If you've never done it before, probably go with the full coverage the first time and then maybe get a little venturous with the designs your next time. And do you think it's easier to do all the same size or it's easier to do the varying sizes whenever you first start? It's probably easier to do the same size because you don't have to think about, oh, okay, well, if I put this big one here and this tiny one, what size has to fit in between okay. to actually 
make so it not show. Less geometry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I would say just solid same is usually a little bit easier, and it takes less time to oh, do a solid that makes color. Because if you're, I have to find, oh, okay, this one doesn't fit. Oh, okay, this one fits. Let's do that. So um, same size, less time, a little, le little less work. <laughs> now I see, like, mostly the clear gems on these bras. Mm -hmm. Have you done any with colors? Um, we have done some with colors. The only reason I like the white, I just feel like it looks a little classier. Um, makes it look less like, once again, like you made it, not like you bought it. Because it's harder True. to get like rainbow jewels that actually look pretty. Like look like, real. Don't, yeah, that look real. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I mean, you can still make really beautiful bras with the colored ones. I would imagine like, I might try like a purple one. I feel like if I started doing multicolor, mm -hmm. It may look like rainbow bright on my boobs, so, I mean, if you're going for that look, that would be pretty cool, but you may want to think about how much attention you really want to bring there mm -hmm. when you are doing it, and how shiny that color really is, because I, I know what you mean with the colors, like, they're a little bit more dull, so if you don't want to be, like, really getting a lot of attention, then maybe that's better, maybe do a colorful one. But I'm on stage in this, so I, I want it to, like, be shiny and, like, blinding everybody's eyes. So that's what I asked for. That's what I got. Um, think about that whenever you're making your bra, too. Now, the other thing I wanted to go over is, so we know that if you use the oozy, like, kind of glue, it's going to take a really long time to set. Mm -hmm. But if we use the hot glue gun on this one, then how, how soon can you wear it and move around in it and stuff. Oh, once you're done, it's done. You put that glue on there and wait about like two or three seconds and you could wear it. That's also why I like it too, because oh. once I'm finished with it, the first thing I want to do is put that sucker on. <laughs> so and go to the mall. Exactly. <laughs> and wear it, show it off, take a bunch of pictures. Um, so it's with hot glue, it's pretty instant. I could make this and go out that same night and it would be ready. Hmm. So that's also a plus if you're trying to get it done Quickly. And it's good if something goes wrong and yes. one comes off, then that means if you have your hot glue gun with you, then you can easily fix it and be back and I've, ready to go really quickly. I've definitely had that happen multiple times where something comes off and you're just like, oh, it doesn't matter. I have my trusty hot glue gun. And of course, you know the one that's going to come off isn't going to be like under the underwire. It's going to be like right in the middle. Yep, like, oops, be... I don't know where it went. It just popped off. So you don't want that to happen. That would be awkward. Make sure to have your hot glue gun with you if you are going to wear one of these bras. The other thing I did want to go over is I remember, okay, I don't think I've ever worn a blingy bra with, no, I have. For pull for a purpose last year, Shelly made me a bling bra and we used a lot of these gems, but we also used the sequin stuff, like on the edge and the side. I'll put a picture of it up so you can see what I'm talking about. And it ate my arm. Like I felt like there was a zombie eating my arm the whole time because it was scratching. And when I put this on, I noticed that it is not like that. It's really smooth because they're rounded on the edges. So at the edge where you would hit your arm, you're not going to have a lot of like scraping involved. So if you are using multiple types of materials on yours, I would suggest putting the bling on the side and your crazy other-ish on the inside where you're not going to be like rubbing your skin on it because it doesn't feel good. I had a red like line down my arm from that performance. Which was fine, it looked freaking awesome and I love that bra, but I probably would have changed the area where I put the bling versus that, but I think her sister made it, so thanks! Um, okay, so any other tips before we wrap that up? Pretty much just, you know, have fun with it, it's yours. Um, don't be afraid to think out of the box, you'd be surprised most of this stuff that I come up with is just me playing around. And I'm like, well, I might ruin this bra. But that's why I say <laughs> usually go with the cheaper one. Yeah. And you can always fix it. You can always cover it with something. Don't be afraid to do something different.
That's a good idea. I like different. That's why I'm so happy that you made mine different because yeah. I gave her like freedom. I was like, just surprise me, do something crazy. I don't care. Yeah. And I freaking love it. So if you are too lazy to make your own bling bra, I get it. I didn't make mine. Then Hannah does have ideas for you. And I don't know, maybe if you ask really nicely, she may even make you one. You can follow her at Bling Bitties, which is spelled B L I N G B I T T I E S. Haha, uh -huh, get it? Bling Bitties. <laughs> so you can follow her. Um, I think Instagram will be the best one to follow her on. You may be able to find her on Facebook or Twitter eventually. So, like I said, I would love to see your blinged biddies. So, hashtag Lush Lisa so that I can see it. And also, go ahead and send it to Hannah because I'm sure that she would love to see what she has inspired you to do. If you have any questions or comments or other ideas for videos of things that you want to learn how to do yourself, then let me know in the comments below. Or you can also send me a message on LushLisa.com. Well, until next time, see ya. Bye. Oh my god, my theater is late. My nose is like, must not scratch my nose. Ah!